So as y'all can see, I'm in, I'm occupied. <laughs> Mothering does not stop. Since I've been, since I've had seven, I've been kind of trying to keep myself on a regimen with uh, this last go around. So I would, what I would do with my regimen is I would shampoo my hair, condition it, do a deep conditioner, and then a the second time I did a co-wash. So I do, so I've been focusing on moisture, low manipulation since I've had seven for these past almost probably like six, seven weeks. But the last few weeks, two weeks or something like that, I kind of been in a rut and you know, cause that, of course the postpartum kind of hit me mentally a little more. Uh, so I kind of let neglected my hair a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, so y'all, this is what it's looking like. And excuse the way I look, I'm gonna zhuzh myself up, but like I said, you know, you had your little one, probably got milk on my shirt, but we finna make this work. Cause I want y'all to kind of be in the moment. It's cause I know it's somebody out there or a few people out there are going through the same thing and trying to see how they can manage keeping their hair intact while being new to motherhood or, you know, even if they had their second child or just new to, you know, birth, at post birth, postpartum. So here's seven if y'all want to see him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seven, seven, seven. But yeah, so y'all, it's problematic. I haven't even pulled it apart. Uh, boy. <laughs> but yeah, I did a steam treatment in the expectation of doing my doing the hair after. But I did a pre-steam treatment before detangling my hair. But I didn't have time. I got y'all yeah, barely. Of course, you know you barely get sleep. So. I chose sleep over doing my hair. So today I plan on starting on my hair. So it's gonna be like a two step process. So I'm gonna try to tackle it today. Tackle the tangling part today and stuff. And then work on the actual shampooing and stuff. Because I'm gonna get my coworker to uh, blow dry my hair and trim it. Cause it's time for a trim. I've been trying to stay on my trim regimen every three months. So I hope my hair didn't get as bad as I think. Hopefully not. Y'all excuse me, y'all see milk in my head. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm a I plan to do a protein treatment, a deep conditioner, pre-poo treatment, a clay, y'all, we finna get this hair right. We finna do a spa treatment on this head. So stay tuned, take note notes. And I plan on doing more of this as well as still doing my super press videos. But I know uh, my naturalistas that do wear their hair in natural state. I know you want to see that too. I do have some audience. I know the majority of super presses is. Uh, I do have also people that like my natural state as well. So I want to be able to contribute to that and, and give y'all tips and ideas on how to handle your hair, even if you still press handling your hair in between time before you get your next silk press. Like, yeah, I want to bring that back because, you know, it seems like natural hair is kind of dying out. So for the ones that want to still kind of keep with the natural and have yourself looking jazzy when you want to, you know, I want to give y'all tips and ideas and tricks on how to do your hair the easy way. All right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, boopy. All right, boopy, 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 boopy. Okay, yeah, I first wanted to let you know before I start that you can do this on relaxed hair as well if you're in need of a good maintenance. So the first product I will be using is Design Essentials Almond Avocado, the moisturizing shampoo, and then followed by the Peppermint Aloe by Design Essentials. So I wanna have, start off with a moisturizing shampoo is then followed it by a clarifying shampoo. This is my favorite, y'all, the clay mask pre-poo. So I will be applying it before I shampoo and as well as I'm gonna be uh, adding this to my pre-poo as well. Y'all, this is a leave-in conditioner and it is so thick. I use it as a regular conditioner, y'all. <laughs> I do, because it's so thick and amazing. They have a conditioner, regular conditioner, but I like that one better than the regular conditioner. But yeah, y'all, I swear by this clay, it is amazing. It leaves your hair soft. When I was in the shop, I would use this for my clients. Like, I would use it as a deep treatment 
rather than a pre-poo. Sometimes I do a pre-poo, but I will use this as one of their treatments as well after shampoo and like doing a little treatment. So, and this clay mask is more of a conditioning clay mask. It's not like the Aztec clay, like clarifying mask. It's more of like a moisturizing mask. So I've added the Emerge leave-in conditioner with the clay. Basically, y'all, I'm just trying to double up and put as much moisture in my hair as I can because it really needs it. All the products will be below in the description box that I've used as well as the tools. So y'all, it's gotten so bad to where yeah, my ends are tangled and I was not gonna take that chance. So I used my paddle brush to get those tangles out at the ends and so it can help me to pull the hair apart so while I'm trying to section it off to fully detangle. Also, another reason why it's very important for me to take this time to detangle my hair with the clay and the conditioner is because I am experiencing postpartum and I don't know how much I'm starting to shed. So each day, each time I do wash day, I have to be very careful but because I don't know what type of shedding I'm dealing with. So if I was to go straight in with a shampoo, I don't know what's, how severe it would get. I'll have a matted mess. <laughs> I'm also making sure that I'm getting into those roots, getting to the roots of my hair, because yes, y'all, it can be shedding in your root. No telling what the situation may be, but it can be shedding in your roots or your roots can be tangled. So you gotta make sure that you're detangling your roots because yes that's not good <laughs> i forgot to mention i will be doing my hot oil treatment on my next maintenance go around because in this maintenance since i'm getting a, a good blowout i don't want to risk cooking my hair so that's why i didn't add the hot oil treatment to this one but to the next one i will what it took to make you like a blossom of a tree or the color of a jewel so divine is the feeling that i find like a sweet mountain breeze. all right so i'm starting off with the design essentials almond avocado starting off with the moisturizing shampoo so that just in case I don't want to have any madden, so I want to be able to control my cleansing process. So I start off with the moisturizing shampoo, then I then I follow that up with the Design Essentials Peppermint Aloe Shampoo. Girl, you know I miss you. Mm -hmm. Also, I am making sure I clean my hair at the root because that's what I really want to focus on to get all the old oils, product build up, everything out so I have a good detox on my scalp or cleansing as you may call it. Um, and you know, of course the soap is, or the, <laughs> the shampoo is going down the hair strands. So as you can see, it's cleaning the hair strands as well too. Like I said, y'all, it's real being a mom, the mom life. So I was tired, I ain't gonna lie to you, and the baby needed to be tended to, as you can hear in the background, <laughs> as I'm doing this voiceover. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and tied my hair down. My hair hasn't been conditioned yet. So it's okay, y'all, if you're going through this as a mother. It's okay if you need to shampoo your hair and you don't have time to condition it. Go ahead, tie it down. Six it off, make sure it's detangled still, and you're good to go. So don't overwhelm yourself, just take it one step at a time. In my hair, this is the protein treatment. They have like a sample pack if you want to save money and try it out. I have that link in the description box below. 
So I'm gonna put this on my head. Be careful with you guys. You can also use this in the shower. Best to do it while you're in the shower. It's been, this is going on day two since I shampooed my hair. Y'all, mother duties does not stop. I cannot stress this enough. And also trying to have the energy to do it after. You do your hair after. So I'm gonna put this on there. And y'all, this is the only brand that I've used if you know of any other brands, I can try them out. So once I put this on, I'm gonna let it sit for, for 10 minutes or to start kind of getting hard. I might give my, I'm gonna give my blow dryer since I don't have a dryer. I hit a dryer, I'm gonna get a blow dryer and I'm gonna blow it on my hair to it starts getting hard because that's the goal. When you put the protein treatment on, it's supposed to get hard. So it should feel like a, a cast on your hair, feel like a hard cast on your hair. And once I put this on my head, I'm going to shampoo it. I personally like to shampoo it because I want to make sure this, this product is out, out because it's very concentrated to me from my experience. So I like to take this out because this it, it, there is a such thing as too much protein in your hair. If you have too much protein in your hair, it can get hard and break off. Your hair strands can get hard and break off. So you do not want to do that. So that's why I suggest doing protein once a month or do it as needed. So if your hair does not need protein, if it feels strong and healthy, do not use this y'all. But if you feel like it needs a protein or you know that you've been stressing your hair strands out, if you've been doing a lot to your hair strands, I suggest doing protein treatments. Y'all, this is, just to remind y'all, this is on freshly shampooed hair. No conditioner is added first. So when you shampoo your hair, do not put conditioner in your hair first. I mean, after you shampoo because it's gonna mess up the effects of the protein treatment. So you do not wanna do that. You put this on right after you shampoo your hair. Then uh, I suggest after you go through your treatment, after this, shampoo it one more time and then add your conditioner or do your conditioner treatment or whatever conditioner treatment that you do. All right, before I blow dry, do not let this run in your eyes. Do not comb through this. Do not detangle this while this is in your head because you can risk breaking your hair off. Do not do that. So that's why I stress to make sure you shampoo, or make sure you have your hair properly detangled before you start this process. So I suggest doing your pre-poo treatment or applying conditioner on your hair or doing a good detangle before you do this process or before you shampoo because you know once you shampoo the hair, it'll be hard to detangle because it's basically squeaky clean. It's it's kind of in a stiff state because it doesn't have any products, any conditioning, moisturizer products on it. So y'all, it's stiff there, hard. Also, if you don't have a dryer, you can just let it air dry until it gets hard. So this time, after rinsing out the protein treatment, I'm going in with the moisturizing shampoo because I want to make sure it is nice and soft, especially after using the protein treatment. Like I said, it can be kind of concentrated. So I want to make sure I'm combating it with uh, moisturizing and good conditioner. So I will be using the FOG two minute constructor, reconstructor. This is an amazing conditioner as well, as well as I'm mixing it with the Emerge conditioner. And um, I'm using, basically doing a conditioning cocktail. So once again, y'all, I'm telling you, this conditioner is amazing and it's a leave-in conditioner. Oh my goodness. Y'all was just in salads one day and tried them out. Cause I'm like, ooh, this is something new. I never heard of Emerge. So yeah. So y'all decided to pull out the good old red detangling brush the red brand red pro whatever they no red kiss i'm sorry and because my hair is too strong for other brushes that have those bristles so i'll have this brush in the description box below as well now that my hair is detangled i went ahead and put a few more twists in my head to prepare myself for my steamer 
Boopy, he just uh woke up from a nap. Well, his dad watched. He's hungry, so that's perfect. That'll give me time to steam my hair. So I'm gonna steam my hair for about 15 minutes, and we're gonna rinse it out. All I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone, baby. You can give me everything I want. Everything I want. All right, y'all, so I managed to uh, rinse my conditioner out. <laughs> I survived <laughs> with a baby. And um, I'm gonna go ahead. I got my hair tied up again. I'm finna get ready to head to my job. Y'all know this press roots, blow dry bar. My coworker is going to blow dry my hair for me. Trim, cause you know it's time for my trim. So I see y'all there. It's insane. You're captivating me. Y'all cannot stress enough about how important it is to get a trim. As you can see, I'm holding myself accountable for the trim. So I've been on a regimen for almost going on a year now. So I've never seen my hair this long. So I, I noticed a difference. And my ends are very healthy and I love that. Especially when I'm in my natural state, I really can see that difference in healthy ends. Nice crisp ends as I would say. But uh... At the end of the day, like I said, it's your choice, but I do recommend having fresh ends. Also, y'all, I will have the products that she used in my head before blow drying in the description box below. Y'all, please subscribe to my other social media handles, my Instagram. I'm trying to get to 2,000 followers, and on my TikTok, I'm trying to get to 1,000, y'all. So, help me to reach my goal. Yeah. wasn't as much shedding so I'm happy about that all right y'all so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel make sure that you are have those notifications on if you want to see this style and thank you for watching yeah.